Uh, we are from Canada. Uh, four of us are students, and our leader is actually actually works with students in Canada. And we would like to introduce ourselves, but first we want to let you know what we're going to be cooking. We are going to make some authentic, simple, and delicious Canadian food uh, that you will also be able to make here in Bangladesh. We are very excited to be here, and we hope that you enjoy this. My name is Archie and I am the team leader. Uh, my name is Jin and I study fashion design. Uh, my name is Amber and I study fashion communication. My name is Steven and I study math and statistics. My name is Mark and I study music. All right, let's get cooking. Throw them out. 
So as you can see, we have cored our peppers already, and these are going to be boiled for five minutes. And we're also going to prep these peppers as well. So after we have mixed the beef, onion, and garlic together, Stephen, in the kitchen, cooked these three together until they were about halfway cooked, or just over, to make sure that the meat wasn't going to be overdone by the time we were finished. Once he got halfway cooking the meat, he added the rice that we already had cooked, which was three and a half cups. He also added one jar of tomato sauce, which was about 340 grams. He added the chilies that Jim had cut up, salt and pepper, and half a cup of coriander. Once all these were mixed together and brown and delicious, Stephen added salt and pepper just to add a bit of extra flavor to the dish. Other spices can also be added, but we stayed with these few. So now that our mixture is finished, we also boiled our peppers for five minutes way that they are cooked enough that we can eat them and now we're going to stuff them. So what you're going to do is you're going to use a spoon. You can also use your fingers but in Canada we like to use spoons for everything. And we're going to just take the mixture and put it in. It's very hot still. Which is good because you need to do it quickly and eat it right away. So we're going to put it in. I like to use a spoon to squish it in because I like lots and lots of stuffing in mine. And I'm going to fill it to just over the top, like this. And we're going to do that to all the peppers that we have prepared. So we have already boiled our sweet potatoes for five minutes. This was so that it will be easier to peel afterwards, but we are going to be frying them after. So what we're going to do is cut these potatoes into wedges. First, we need to slice it in half. And then we're just going to cut them into wedge-like pieces so that they are triangular. Now these potatoes are ready to be fried. So the next step that we are going to take for our recipe, which is for eight to 10 people, we have one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cardamom, one teaspoon of minced ginger, one teaspoon of coriander, and half a cup of brown sugar. And these are going to be the spices that we are going to use on the outside of our sweet potato fries, which is going to make them very delicious. So in this cup, we have already measured out our brown sugar, cinnamon, and cardamom. So we're going to put these in the bowl, which we are going to use. The next item that we are going to add is the ginger. Now we need, because we are doing half a recipe right now for you, we are going to do half a teaspoon of minced ginger. So we have our ginger, it's already been peeled, and we're just going to cut off some of the ginger. quite a bit of ginger, but I like ginger, so that's okay. And I'm going to mince it, so I'm going to cut it very small. So I'm going to add that also to our bowl. See, it's not very much, but it'll make it delicious. Next, we need our coriander. So we need half a teaspoon for our four-person recipe. So I'm going to take some of the coriander and I'm going to chop it smaller. This way we have more spread out over all of 
the fries that we're making. So I'm going to use my measuring spoon. I'm just going to take just half of it. So with this, all these spices, you're now going to add a little bit of oil, which is going to help mix all the spices together and stick to the sweet potatoes. So we're going to use olive oil, and we're going to use, for our half recipe, we're going to use a quarter of a cup. But if you're cooking for 8 to 10 people, I would recommend using half a cup. So I'm just going to mix all of this together. It smells really good. <laughs> If you have any lumps or sugar, you can just squish them with what you're stirring with or just with your fingers. You see it's a very dark color now. And we are going to take our sweet potatoes. We can take just a few to show you. We're going to take them in and we're going to coat them like this. And that, what that's going to do is it's going to make them, make the brown sugar is going to caramelize. So it's going to be very, very sweet and delicious when we cook them in the pan. So I'm going to do the rest of these and then we're going to cook them. Okay, so we've made our main dish, which is stuffed peppers, our side dish, which is sweet potato fries. And now for the last thing, we're going to make dessert. And for dessert, we'll be making ice cream sandwiches. So it is very simple. All you need is your favorite type of biscuit or cookies and your favorite type of ice cream. So what you will be doing is you will take one piece of biscuit or cookie, you will scoop a scoop of ice cream, put it on top, and you will place another biscuit on top. And squish it down a bit, you will scoop and the extra off and you are done and everything is ready to eat.